Welcome to the live stream and the channel. And also, hello, replayers, players, for those of you that are watching after the live's been over already. Travel Snacks is all about eating good food, traveling, being kind to one another, being resourceful, and maybe living a different lifestyle than the norm. Whether you want to live in a car, a van, a truck, an RV, a tiny home, or something like that, we're all for it, and we are just uh, thrilled that you're here, and we are supportive of it. So, let's see who's in today, and if you're ready here, go ahead and throw up a like. Um, let's see. Oops. Let me turn on my all chat. My... For those of you that are moderators or just even watching, if you click the little thing that looks like a comment button, it'll say top chat and live chat. And so put it on live chat so you'll see all, all of the uh, chats instead of just the top. All right, so it only lets me scroll back so far. So hello to Tanya, to Grant, to AGTWNC, uh, Adventures of Miss Peach. Hey, Kayla Stevens, I'm doing well. All right, so we have like a bunch of moderators, uh, which is fine. Um, hey, James Lane, I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, so let's see, hold on one second. I'm trying to get this adjusted. And also I meant to have my computer open. Hey, Don Don, how are you? Um, let me check something out. Hold on one second. Give me a second. I got to grab my computer. In the meantime, uh, I am coming to you live from South Carolina. It is a very rainy day. And it's also humid, so I have my fan going. And on my fan, my um, Max Air fan, it allows you to either blow air in or suck it out. So I have the exhaust on because it's a little bit humid in here. Uh, let's see. Awesome. Hey, John Davenport. Hey, Eve, how are you? Hugs to you, too. Uh, let's see. All right, let's see here. All right. I'm just making sure all of the settings are correct. And looks like we're good to go. All right. I was also hoping that I would have my chat button because I've been talking to YouTube all week trying to get my chat resolved on this iPad, which clearly it's still not working. I've done a bunch of things and now I'm kind of thinking that maybe it's on Apple's part with the iPad. So I'm going to have that checked out again. I'm probably going to go to an Apple store. Hey Mimi, how are you? Happy Saturday. Um, hey Meet Healthy Lori, how are you? Grant, I'm going to wait for you to get the vaccine before I hug you. Uh, let's see. It was Dee Dee. Oh, okay. Changed all social media names after last week's. Okay. Awesome. Um, okay, great. Okay. So if you have just joined, go ahead and throw a like on the live stream. That way YouTube knows you guys like the live streams. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, I'm going to address this very quickly. Just at the beginning. Um, we, the last two Saturdays have been kind of crazy. We've had uh, a hacker, hackers, or people that are trying to clone other people. Um, it's been a whirlwind of a week. I've been talking with YouTube. I've been uh, talking with a bunch of people. And so we do have a handful of moderators now, brand new moderators. And I've gone through the process of verifying every one of them, either by video or by receipts or by me knowing them in person. And so I think this is the best way to go about it. And so now we have a few people handling the job that way also uh if uh one of them is not in then there's others to do backup but our original og um moderator is grant and he has been so gracious to join us today because of all the problems we've been having so he's in for the day um and this kind of takes the pressure off so it doesn't like fall on just to one person um <clears throat> i won't be adding any more moderators so please don't ask and we're going to just make this a very lighthearted live stream. And this is what Travel Snacks is all about, just keeping it fun and lighthearted. And I know last couple weeks it's been kind of doom and gloom and like a little bit scary. So 
If you see anything crazy, report it, and we're going to keep it moving, and we're just going to keep this a very fun time. So thank you to all the new moderators, and let's get it popping. I have a lot to talk about. Uh, let's see. Hey, Mickey Thomason from Alabama. I love Alabama. Hey, Rochelle. Pacific Northwest in the house. Uh, awesome, awesome. Um, this is the real grant. Anybody that has a wrench, a blue wrench, and their name is blue, at least it's blue on my end, that means that you have been verified and we have already gone through the steps to uh, verify. So, Eve, I'm not a hacker and not smart enough for that. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Hey, Gloria Harrison from Florida. Awesome, I love Florida. Uh, awesome. Good idea. Extra online security with all the wackos. Yes, indeed. Hey, Robert, formerly of Lake Paget. How are you? Hey, Monique's in the house. Uh, awesome. Uh, hey, Tommy Warren or Tommy. Hey, Reginald. How are you? Hey, Nana Papa. Awesome. Great. So we have a lot of our regulars in. And for those of you that are new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Hey, Colleen, how are you? Oh, from Texas, Tomball, Texas. That is, I never heard of that. Uh, awesome. Okay, so um, let's see. Also, there was so many, so much craziness that we didn't even get to say that the channel hit 29,000 subscribers. And so we're getting very close to 30,000, which is a big, a big uh, milestone. So I'm very excited to see that the channel is still growing. It is raining pretty hard here today. So, yes, it is rain. And I love it, but it is kind of loud in the van. But it's it's great. Uh, so, we are doing well as a channel. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about today is kind of some updates. And then we're going to get on to the fun stuff. Um, also, real quick, before we move on, um, if you do want to make a donation to the Snack Fund, I always mention that... There's several ways to do it. You can hit the little dollar sign under the chat. That is a YouTube donation. They take 30%, so I don't really recommend that. I just want you to know where your money's going, but you still can do it that way. Also, PayPal. PayPal takes fees as well. But the two best ways is through Venmo and Cash App. They don't take any fees, and that goes directly to me, and then I can use it for the snack fund. Um, again, it's never an obligation, never required. Um, don't ever feel like obligated to give in any way. I just like to mention it because a lot of you do ask how you can support the channel and that's the way to do it. Um, okay, so I covered that. Um, also, I'm kind of moving through it a little more quickly because I recognize that we're in the spring and we're going into summer. Uh, a lot of things are picking back up. Restaurants are opening. Beaches are open. Like all the things that people really want to do when it starts to get warm and sunny outside. So from now on until for. Do you guys hear that? Is that thunder? Oh no, it's an airplane. God, that was loud. Or maybe it is thunder. I don't know. Um, but for the next foreseeable future, we're going to keep the live stream on Saturdays. But it's just going to be for about one hour. I know we usually go about two hours. I don't know when that started. I think because there was so many more people coming on and we were just talking for so long about different things. But we're going to try to keep it to one hour. That way we can pack in a lot. And then plus, another cool thing is starting next month, starting in May, I'm going to start the late night snack. So that's going to be another live stream. It's just going to be impromptu um, one time a week or maybe one time every other week. But that way we're going to you know, get more live streams going at different times. Um, and then on Saturdays, uh, by it just being one hour, I think more people can come on and then I can just keep it to one hour for myself as well. I was going to move it to Sundays, but I do like to take Sunday as my day of rest. And I was really thinking to do it, but then I was like, you know what, that is kind of my day. So I would prefer to just have that whole day to just not work on videos and stuff like that. All right. So let me scroll back and see what's going on in the chat. Let me turn on my keyboard. Uh, let's see. Yes, everybody uh, say thanks to all of our new mods for accepting the challenge. I 
feel a sneeze coming on. Thank you very much, Joanna from Adventures of Miss Peach. If you guys aren't already, you should be following Adventures of Miss Peach on her channel. I met her in person, which we'll talk about in just a few minutes. Thank you guys for all the, um, the shout outs for 29K. It's all because of you and we are a big snack pack family. So I say congratulations to you guys as well. Um, hey, Patrick from Ohio, leaving for Arizona this summer, watching all your videos. Oh, awesome. Hey, Judy Quinn from Christmas Valley, Oregon. That sounds like a fun place. Uh, thank you, Colleen. That's so sweet. Yes, 30K, here we come. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank you, Monique. It is really continuing to grow. Hey, Dad. My dad is George Cox, so everybody say hi to my dad, um, if he's still around. Um... I'm running out of sanitizer. Everybody has been going and has got to go get the jab if we are going to be in the chat today. Thank you for, okay, awesome, awesome. New York weather is weird right now. Okay. I think the weather's weird all over the place. Uh, going to college in the fall and graduating in June. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, let's see. Hey, Lewis. How is your leak repair? I hope that is finally fixed and you can continue to the East Coast. Well, the leak back here, pretty sure is fixed because I have a towel stuffed in it and I've checked it a few times today and it's not wet. So that is a plus. Um, I just discovered two new leaks this morning and I don't want to talk about it because I was almost crying. And so I'm just, I don't even know what to do at this point. So I have, it's in the very front and I have towels just getting the drip. So I don't know. I'm gonna leave it to God because at this point I just, I don't even know what to do. Um... Let's see. <laughs> yes, you earned your wrench. Uh, Grant brought his wrench. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's raining in Virginia too. Okay. Awesome. Let's see. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> so we're going to keep these to about one hour. We're going to start the late night snacks in May, which it's going to be at nighttime, obviously late night snack. Um... Like I said, I am in South Carolina. It's very beautiful here. Uh, it's just very lovely. There's so many trees. It's just delightful. Um, and on the days that it hasn't been raining, I've just basically been sitting in parking lots editing. And so what's happening is I finally, like I'm finally like on my real van journey because as you guys know, when I left California, I stayed with my son or around my son's area for about two months in Texas trying to fix things. Then I moved to Florida and I had friends there and then I moved to Georgia and I had friends there and now I've moved on and now I have no friends like in-person friends and so now I'm like really on my journey and I feel like I'm super behind on all my videos and so I decided that I'm going to just post up here and just bust out the van build videos. I know it might be boring for some of you guys just bear with me because I feel like that is like a weight on me on my shoulders because they feel so old at this point but i want to get them done because my channel the point for me is to be of service and i know there are people that are building vans and so i want to get those videos out and then i can move on to all the travel ones the food ones the like all the ones you know camping and parking and all these things i'm going to start getting onto those videos so i'm basically just posted up here i'm pretty much just going to stay here until i get all those van build videos up so i'm going to be posting videos like like once a day or once every other day so you're going to start seeing a bunch of videos and then i'm going to also be posting little short videos like the minute long videos uh, like tiktoks but they're kind of youtube ones um so you're going to be seeing a lot of videos so i'm not telling you what to do but also if you can watch them all or let them play that really helps youtube know that you guys like them because the watch time is the most important thing and then i promise that i'm going to be getting onto some regular van life content <laughs> So, um, before I leave South Carolina, I am going to film some locations here, um, and also some food spots. So basically all I've been doing is editing this whole time. It's just been all editing. Um, the cool thing is, I don't know if, I think most of you probably saw it, but the cool thing is I was in a parking lot. I went to Planet Fitness to get a shower and then I just stayed in the parking lot and there's like a man-made lake there. And for those of you that didn't see it, there was an alligator, a little, like a baby alligator in this lake. I was like, what? 
for some reason my naivete I just thought the alligators were kind of just like in Florida but I guess they're also in South Carolina which makes sense and I guess there's alligators in a lot of places so I don't know but he didn't bother me he or she didn't bother me but it was kind of cool to see We have finally got some soaking rain in WNC to cut the pollen. Oh, awesome. Yeah, the pollen's been crazy. Yay, thank you, Lord, about the fixed leak, but oh my, I'll pray after the others. Thank you. I have had leaks in RVs, and every time it rains, it makes me sit there stressed out. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Kayla. You too. My parents who live in Montreal used to spend their winters in Myrtle Beach. So I am going to be going to Myrtle Beach. That's on my list. So I'm excited about that. I like the van build videos, even if I don't plan to build. It's interesting. We can always... Oh, awesome. Thank you. Hey, Poke fan. Yeah, leave it to God. He is able in all things. He can even fix leaks. Yes, indeed. Um, hello, everyone from Dallas, uh, Worth, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Safe travels. I'm still in van build for, uh, progress from starting to travel. Next. Ooh, exciting. Thank you for being here. LOL, leak fixed equals towel stuffed in it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mimi, I love you. Love the shorts. They're fun to make. They do take time to make because I still use my editing uh, program to do it because I want to still be, you know, worth something. Because um, I don't like to just make just like basic content. That sounds weird, but I just like to make sure that it's serving a purpose. But maybe not. I'm probably just gonna like start doing some just easier content as well. But I do like making those shorts because they're fun. I hope you can still have a good summer still. Yes, April 30th will be here before you know it. Yes. See you later, alligator. Uh, yes, yes, yes. No, do it. Post them. I love your short videos. Oh my goodness. Saw uh, the statistics on their training page. Um, they track if we watch them or just like and scoot. Yes, exactly. This is friendly content. Thank you for all your post ups and keeping it. Thank you. Um, yeah, I like to try to make things that are you know, entertaining and also educational. Um, awesome. Love the van build. Okay. Awesome. Stay safe. I'm glad the alligator didn't bother you. Hey Nelly. I'm still laughing at your Annabelle video. Annabelle doll. I can't wait for new adventure videos. Yes. That those dolls. I did. I did ask my friend if I could post that short because you know, those are her dolls and she loves them. And I was like, Listen, I don't hate your dolls for real, but also, can I make this video? And she's like, sure, it's not going to offend me. Um, so she knew all about it. Uh, but yeah, that was a fun time to make that video. Um, let's see. Um, I feel like I've been talking so fast. Like, whew, take it down or not. Um, hey Cheryl T, sorry I am late, but just wanted to say hey, hey from Texas. Um, thank you guys so much for all your encouragement and support. Um, let's see here. <laughs> let's see. YouTube just let me know my li I'm on the live stream, so thank you YouTube. Um, what? Shanine, thank you so much. Shanine just, Shanine has given me more Starbucks. I don't even know. It's just delightful. But she just sent another $20 Starbucks. Enjoy a treat on me, beautiful girl. Safe travels, much love, and God bless. Thank you so much, Shanine. That is very, very generous and sweet. Let me give you a shout out. Um, let's give you, I'm going to give you a hallelujah, I think. Let me turn my phone. And an explosion. Thank you very much, Janine. It is truly, truly appreciated. Um, it is really a pick-me-up, and I love going to Starbucks every now and again. So thank you so, so much for that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I have to go. I enjoyed your videos. I'm glad I had a chance to see you live. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. Have a great Saturday as well. Um... Awesome. Thank you so, so much. Oh, AGT coming through with the 10 spot. Super chat. Whoop, whoop. And you're a moderator. Yes. Thank you so, so much. And thank you for being here in that capacity because I appreciate all the moderators just, you know, doing this and just helping out. So let's give you 
Let's give you a, uh, this one. He shoots. He scores! <laughs> Thank you so much, AGT. Uh, on a side note, it's actually... I always try to look at things as a blessing. Um, the last two Saturdays have been kind of like, you know, because of everything that was going on. But I was like, okay, there's got to be some good in this. And it was really cool because going through like the verification process with people, um, people were sending me videos um, of themselves. Um, and it was just nice to see people's faces and like, because it's always just me talking on these live streams. And I don't really know you guys in person like I don't know what you guys look like or what your life is like and just hearing from a couple of you or a few of you actually sending videos of yourself to me um, through email or through Instagram or Facebook it really was so nice to like humanize you guys you know and it, it just it was really nice so I look at this as a total blessing so I'm getting to know you guys a little bit more um, just beyond just seeing comments so thank you for all of you that sent in videos. Um, it was just really nice to hear from you guys. And it's just nice. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Okay, you guys good? Is not buffering? Um, so let's talk really quickly, or not quickly, we have time. Let's talk about me leaving Georgia and coming over to South Carolina. Um, so last Saturday I was still in Georgia and I was staying with um, my friend Melinda and Melinda is a friend of mine that I met a couple years ago through another friend and um, when I met her she was not a vegan but she over the last couple years have been easing over to veganism and she's fully vegan now um, so it was really great because one of my goals was when I went to her house to learn how to cook simple things in my van that are more plant-based um, and start to get off some of the junk food. I'm not going to ever give up all junk food or all, you know, animal products, but I will pretty much be reducing really drastically. Uh, and she helped me out so much. I mean, it was like super generous. She was spending like a lot of time teaching me certain things. We made a lot of things. She made homemade pot, um, pesto for me and froze it into little like you know things so I could just dump it into like a pasta like vegan stuff just it was just so sweet and I just really appreciated that um and that's whose house I was staying at because we were doing some van fixes my curtain fell down we ended up fixing that I had to install a um uh blind spot mirror on my on my passenger mirror because I couldn't see when I was turning um when I was trying to turn left so there was like a lot of things that we did while I was still at her house. So it was really nice to be there. And so I didn't really explore Georgia very much because I was still getting stuff done. Um, but that was like a really cool thing. We also made homemade granola and I think I'm going to make a short out of that. Um, so we got a lot accomplished at her house. Um, hey, Pokey fan, thank you so much for the 99 cents in the house. Let's give you a shout. Let's give you, let's do this DJ warning. That's festive. Thank you so much. I was having fun with that little, with that little sound. Um, yes, AGT Rob, uh, which I didn't even know that was your name. So that's great to even know that your name is Rob. AGTWNC and, uh, did send a video and he included his son, his chihuahua, who is super cute, by the way. And it was just nice. It was just like cool. Like, oh, okay, that's what you look like. This is great. This is fun. Um, do I read in my spare time? I used to. Uh, with all the stuff going on in the van, I haven't had time to read, but I do like to read. Uh, you just had a hot dog? I haven't had a hot dog in a long time. Um, she is very super nice to have done all that. Let me know how you like that blind spot mirror. I need one as well. So far, it's been great, Joanna. It's been great. Yeah, thanks for the shout out. Lots of love. Thank you. That's why I put my pic on, but anyone could post a pic. I do appreciate the moderators to grant you are the grant in my area. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Awesome. All right. So I did spend a lot of time with my friend Melinda. And then while I was there, I also spent time 
Um, sometimes you guys will see um, Anton come on here. Um, it'll show his name, and I say he's a friend that I know in person. So I did spend a few days with him as well. Um, he's the one that I went to um, the plant-based pizzeria with, and last week I briefly spoke about our cheeseburger pizza that was vegan, and that was really good as well. Um, and he bought me gourmet cookies a couple times, which I thought was super delightful. And, uh, if you want to like be friends and you give me cookies, I mean, that's friends for life right there. So I think that was really generous. And I was able to park in his, um, apartment complex area for the nights that I hung out with him as well. And it was just nice to be around friends. Um, and this is leading up to telling you that I had a great time in Georgia. I didn't really explore any Georgias. I didn't take any real footage of it. But, um, where was I going with this? Oh, but I had a meetup. <laughs> we had a meetup. I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to read these comments and I'm reading about hot dogs. Did I miss something about hot dogs? Is this a code word? Should I have, like, what's happening? Let's see. Oh, because I was talking about, like, vegan food. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then let me scroll down. Hold on. This is... Yes, I just had a hot dog, but that doesn't mean I enjoyed it. <laughs> Literally in the car eating a hot dog. So Monique's eating a hot dog as well. So it must be hot dog day. And Rochelle, I have hot dogs in the fridge and leftover birthday cake for my 17-year-old. You are making me happy. Oh, birthday cake. I'm not a real big fan of birthday cake, but some of it's, some of it is good. Speedway roller dog. Grant said it. Hello. I was just about, I was lost about hot dogs too. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did I miss something? Were we talking? Just drop my pen. Were we talking about hot dogs? Um, all right. So I'm leading up to the fact that I had a meetup in Georgia in the Atlanta-ish area, like more north of Atlanta. And it's funny because the last couple meetups, in my mind, I'm like, I'm not famous. Like, I don't expect anybody to show up. And my friends are like, people will show up. And I'm like, I mean, I'm just going to post up, like, I'm going to be somewhere. And if someone wants to show up, they will. Um, so in all, like, three, it's really two meetups, but really in the three times I've had a little meetup, only one person showed up that was like a snack pack member. Someone that I don't know in person, I should say. Um, but what was really great about that is it got it gave me a chance to like get to know some of you individually. So the first time I met Dora, that was in Florida. And then I met Rebecca, that was also in Florida, a different location. And then this past Sunday, I met Joanna, which is Adventure, Adventures of Miss Peach. And uh, it was really great. Um, she met us there and my friend Melinda and my friend Anton were there as well. So it was the four of us. We had a nice picnic bench out in this beautiful park and it was just super nice to just sit and relax and talk and it was super comfortable. So I just want to say thank you to Joanna for showing up to the meetup. Um, and she also brought me a little gift. It was like um, dry shampoo from the dollar store, which indeed I did try. I didn't love it. So Joanna, you wanted me to report back to you. First of all, I didn't love the smell because it was like that very um, heavy, like perfumey, um, like old school hairspray smell, which fills up the van pretty strong. But I don't know, the feel of that dry shampoo was almost like it was wet, like instead of powdery. So that's my report back to you. So if you want to try it, I would recommend skipping it and just going to Walmart and getting the Not Your Mother's purple can. So that's, that's the thing, but I still think it was sweet that you wanted to, you know, bring me something. So I appreciate that. Tanya, I had pizza and Caesar salad. That sounds so good. Um, my code word is pit wireler. Okay. Tanya, those two things do not go together. Uh, pizza and Caesar salad do go together. I, I would love that meal. That's delicious. I love it. Um, Adventures of Miss Pete. Allison, it was super awesome to meet you. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are we going to see, get to see a video of your meetup with Adventures of Miss Pete? I didn't take any video. I just wanted to enjoy the moment, but, um, Joanna, I don't know if you took video, but I know, I know she took pictures. Um, and so I don't know, Joanna, if you're going to be posting a video of that or not, but if so, let everybody know. 
Um, let's see. I didn't really video our actual meetup, but I did video up to it and my experience. Yeah, so you guys will probably see that. Um. <laughs> awesome. What, girl? I will show up. I'm traveling this summer to Colorado and Arkansas, then back before winter. Okay, awesome. So check out my channel and subscribe. I have pics of us. Yes, so please subscribe to her channel because it's great. And she's got some cool stuff um, that she was telling us about that she's going to post or things she's been working on and stuff so that's great so um on that note though i'm not gonna be doing any meetups anytime soon and i say that because even though it seems very simple to set up because it's like hey i'm gonna be here meet me here um it's something you got to plan for and then you got to think like is anybody gonna show up and if anybody because nobody really rsv RSVPs, um, but if nobody shows up, that's fine. Excuse me. But if the, then a lot of people show up and you've like said, let's meet here, then, you know, you're not really prepared for it. You know, I don't know. And plus I feel more comfortable if I have friends in that area that can go with me just for safety reasons. And especially with all the weird stuff that's been happening on the channel. And I'm like a little bit more cautious, I'd say. So I won't be doing any meetups anytime soon, but I am going to probably be doing a couple collabs as I go up the coast. Um, I'm going to try to connect with Sorgi Stories with their channel and Kels Acosta on his channel. Um, those are two people that I've been in contact with along my journey. Um, so those are people that I would meet up with in person. But um, yeah, so I don't think I'll be doing any meetups anytime soon, but... It's going to give me more time to make more videos. <laughs> so that's my justification. Um, awesome. Yes, I love the subscribes for all of our Snack Pack friends. Hey, Arthur. Uh, hi, I'm on Facebook. I do vids on Facebook. Awesome. Okay. Hey, Terry is tenacious. How are you? It seems like a birthday. No one showed up to my fifth birthday. <laughs> uh, hey, Kels. What's up? I was just talking about you. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I just got a $10 donation from Patrick. Allison, have a cup of coffee on me. I am currently saving for a road trip this summer. I live in Ohio going along the East Coast, then back up to Minnesota to visit my brother. Then um, I'll read this later. I don't know if you want me to read all this on here, but be safe out there. Cheers, Patrick. Oh, thank you very much, Patrick. That is super nice and sweet. I appreciate that so much. Let me give you a shout out. Let's give you. Ooh, that's fun. I need to also like check in. There's like so many sounds on here and I want to start mixing them up. So. I'm going to probably try to add some more as well. But thank you so much, Patrick. I got super involved in this. <laughs> thank you so, so much. It's truly appreciated and will be used for good, probably fixing my leak in my van. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Collabs are, yeah, I haven't done any collabs yet, but I'm looking forward to it. It's not my birthday. No, it's not my birthday. My birthday is not till September 25th. I heard, thanks for the shout out. Can't wait to do the clap. Yes, indeed. I'm looking forward to it. Also, Kels, where are you? Because you, Kels has been posting all these videos of like Ghana and Puerto Rico and like all these awesome places. And then I don't even know where you are. I can't keep up. You're doing too many fun things. Also, there's a lot of, um, obviously, there's a lot of seafood along the coast, and I want to try it, but also, I'm not in the mood for seafood. Have you ever just, like, you're in an area that's known for something, some things, but then you're just like, I'm not really in the mood for that right now? So, I mean, I'm going to have super, so many opportunities along the coast, because, you know, there's a lot of beach towns and a lot of seafood, but... 
I don't know. I'm just not really feeling it. I think I'm just in super like work mode right now. I'm trying to get all these videos done and I haven't even been really focused on um, like eating new foods, but I'm going to. I've been looking up different restaurants and getting ready to like once I'm getting ready to wrap it up here, I'm going to go to a few of these places and film it and show you guys what I'm getting. I'm always in the mood for seafood. <laughs> um, okay, do you guys want to see where I am? A little, like, I can't really do, like, a full-on uh, field trip because it's raining outside, but I could show you out the door. That sounded like I was letting, telling you guys to go home. No, I could show you me opening the door and showing you where, you know, this area is. Hey, girl, how you doing? Hey, Win Win, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, just got back from PR and um, is at Miami, back here to New York City. Just filmed a new food video too. Ooh, awesome! I can't wait to see that. You guys should be following Kels Acosta for sure. If you guys aren't already, that's for sure. Uh, yes. What is a food you hate? I hate raw, crunchy white onions. I like cooked onions. I just don't like raw onions. I'm so late. Hey, TJ, how are you? Door trip. <laughs> It is raining. It is raining. But I drove over to this park specifically so that I could show you guys how pretty it is. And it's like, and now it rains harder. Um, it's got these little like facades. So it's like store and then like there's like a praise area, like a little church and then like a little like tool shop. And then if you walk further down, you can have, you can get access to the beach. There's also a, um, like this little pier looking thing and it goes out into this like pergola or I don't know what they're called, just like a place where you can sit, rotunda, something. Because um, I came here the other day, and I stayed here editing for a, a long time. Um, but it's very pretty here. Um, oh, you hate raw onions too? Yeah, I hate it. Let me put on a hat. So just, so, this looks crazy, but whatever. Because um, it is raining. I like the way you said I'm going to. I'm looking forward to all the new foods that you seem to find. Yes. Uh, gazebo. Thank you, Tanya. Onion, same. Okay, so I got some people out here that don't like the onions as well. So let me take my glasses off. This this is, I know this is not the cutest, like, modernist hat, but it's got a hole in the top that you can put, like, a ponytail. So I like it. So pretty when it rains in spring. Hey, Grant, to make someone's name show up highlighted, do you not put space? I don't know about that, so I'll let Grant answer that. Um, let me just check here real quick. Ah, uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's see here. Whoa. Baseball hats are my style too. Awesome. Most modern. Grab my keys so I don't lock myself out. All right, I'm only gonna stay. Oops, I'm only gonna stay for a second because it's raining. Whoa! Oh, it's all over the keyboard. Hold on, let me turn this around. Ah! So there's the bathrooms. There's like. A, uh, it's like a little praise, praise house, like a little, little small facade. And then over there's like a little tool shop. It's like these really pretty trees. And there's lots of parking spots. And uh, this is one of the only places that has like free parking here, like in the parks. Oh my God, my keyboard is so wet. But yeah, if you walk all the way over in that direction, that's where the little rotunda thing is, or gazebo. And then over that direction is to the beach. Okay, I gotta go back in because my keyboard is... My keyboard is, like, wet. So... Let me wipe this off. Okay, 
So that's like a mini field trip because it is, and the thing is, is like, it's raining pretty hard, but I'm under like a tree canopy. So even that was with like getting wet with the tree canopy. Hold on a second. I wipe my screen. Whoa. What happened here? How did this? was an adventure in itself. All right, so let Where me... are you? Uh -oh. Let me see. Yeah, the internet is fast today, and it's fast here. And what's funny is that they have at this park they have internet, like free internet, which is amazing. Um, thank you, Rochelle. Awesome. Hey, Jenna, how are you? Jenna's my friend from Florida, and her and her husband were so generous um, when I was in Florida, and it was just great. And I miss you a lot already, Jenna. Yeah, it's very beautiful here. And it's like, I don't know if this is like kind of like a hidden spot or if just people are just at home, but it's very peaceful here. No one bothers you. This park is open till I think 9 p.m. And then you got to go because they closed the gate. But uh, it's really nice. And you can even walk down to the beach. It's not that far. Um, hey, Gloria Harrison. It is very nice. I know you love field trips, Grant. <laughs> yeah, it's got like that rainy smell. It's really nice. Yeah, I know. I was surprised because I looked up free parks parking near me and all the other beach access places have a, like, you know, you got to pay for like metered parking or whatever. And so... I was like, I'm not trying to do that. I'd like to get free parking. So this was one of the places. Thank you, Terry is Tenacious. This is just from me having braids in and taking them out. I'm missing the guy who played the sax in the park. I know, that was a fun time. It is a Turkish towel. Thank you, Joanna, for noticing. I just got two of those. Um... I had brought, oh, I don't have it near me, it's under the thing. I had brought like regular, like three regular terry cloth towels. And then I noticed that they're pretty bulky. And when I go into the gym to go shower, it's like I have to stuff it into my bag and it's wet and everything. So I was doing some research and I found the Turkish towels that they're thin, they dry quickly, and they roll up really small. So I bought, I bought some Turkish towels on Amazon and they were gigantic like so big like they were like I think they were like 40 inches the shorter side was 40 so it was like going down to my ankles I was like okay I don't need that big of a towel this is like a beach blanket so I sent those back and then I got these ones that are like shorter like more like a towel size and they fold up really small so um I like it so far I used it at the Planet Fitness and it dried off really quickly and it's great um Jenna, yes, I have two more leaks, which I, I don't even want to talk about because I'm upset about it. But I don't think the leak that you guys fixed or helped me fix <laughs> is leaking anymore. So that's positive. Are the bathrooms locked over there? I don't know. I haven't, I don't, I didn't really use the bathrooms over here because I have a toilet in here. Um, let's see. I hope you find many more beautiful places on your journey. Can't wait to see more. Thank you very much. I know, Jenna, it's upsetting. I think I think what I'm going to have to do, I wasn't going to talk about it, but I'll talk briefly about it. In fact, I'll show you. I wasn't going to because it's just it's so upsetting. But I could take the encouragement. Um, let's try the light. So I was all like good back here. I checked my back leak and I was like great. I don't think it's leaking anymore. And so I went up to the front to drive over here for the live stream and the whole thing was just like dripping. 
And I'm like, what the F is going on? And so I'll show you. Let's see. You guys are getting two mini field trips today. Let's see. Let me turn this around. See right here? Wait, where is it? Let me pull back a little bit. See that drip right there? I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. I'll put my finger next to it. Let's see. I don't know. It's wet right there. And it's dripping down. I have it dripping onto this towel. But it was like dripping real heavy. Like drip, 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 drip. Um, and then also right there on that strip was dripping just down onto like the armrest. So it's hard to see, but I don't really know why. I think what's happening is I have a feeling that I hate this. Whoa. I hate to say it, but I have a feeling that when my dad and I got to the point of the roof where we fiberglassed all around it. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, my dad and I cut the roof off of this and raised it up. Then we built it as like a wood structure and then we fiberglassed it. And then once we fiberglassed it, we sanded down the whole sides of the roof. And I have a feeling that maybe on some parts that we sanded down, we sanded down too much to where there's little holes or like little patches that aren't as like super completely sealed. And at that point it took, it had taken us like two months to finish that roof. And I was 100 if I could say even more than a hundred, but 100% done with that roof. By the time we even got to that point, I just was over it. And I'm like, I don't even care anymore. At that point, I probably should have cared <laughs> because I have a feeling we should have probably used another layer or two layers of more fiberglass. Um, because I think what's happening now is there's small pockets that are exposed that need more fiberglass so off the top of my head because this just happened before live stream I think what I'm gonna have to do is it's supposed to rain the rest of the day <sighs> tomorrow is my day of rest and it's not supposed to rain and then Monday I think I'm gonna try to find a marine RV or like a marine repair shop or RV repair shop or something I haven't obviously looked into this yet because it just kind of happened. I need to find somebody that can advise me because I, I do have a feeling that I'm going to probably have to refiberglass, but now I'm on my own and I don't have a ladder. So I need to get it sealed somehow and that's going to cost money and <laughs> yeah, and that's a whole nother thing. So I don't know. I just don't know. So it's just like whatever. I'm going to have to pay the money whatever it is because I need to get it sealed because I can't just be driving around with a leak on my, like, right in my driving area. Oh my gosh, Grant. Thank you so <laughs> Grant just sent $20 for new towels. Thank you so much because I'm going to need those because I'm using the terry cloth towels to soak up this these leaks. Thank you so much, Grant. Let me give you your shout out. Grant's got a special sound. Thank you very much, Grant. I appreciate that. Truly, truly, truly. Um, let's see. Let me scroll back. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> Get it out. Tell us yes. 
does it the uh the turkish towel does absorb i was worried about it but i tried it and it absorbs fine and it doesn't feel like it's sopped up wet it's just enough absorption so yeah i would recommend maybe a screw hole from the outside i don't know if it's a screw hole i think i don't think so but who knows is it the metal or the glass i think it's so the the roof before we ever cut it off was already fiberglass. That part was already a high top. So it's it was fiberglass. When we cut it off and raised it, we added a wood frame and then more fiberglass. But I don't think that we added enough layers. So that's probably the issue. <laughs> yeah, AGT, auto glass technician. I do auto glass. Yes. I don't think it is the glass, but I don't know. That's the problem with water. If there's a way, it will find its way. It certainly will. Yes, it is. I love to travel. I can spot places easily. I can pick out all, pick out all over. Yes. Um, God is always with us. Thank you very much. Fire blast, right? You'll probably need to do more. Yes. Thank you very much. <coughs> That's a pain in the rear. Take care of one leak just for another. Yes. It's very frustrating. I don't have a tarp for the night, but that was on my agenda. Cause I, before the live stream, I was like, what am I going to do? Like I was, looking around for like if I had like even some plastic or whatever but there is a Walmart Oops, somebody's driving up um there is a Walmart so I think I am gonna probably go buy a tarp and when I park I'm gonna have to at least just cover the front you know what I'm saying like just throw it over I don't even know because whatever I am gonna have to go buy some kind of a tarp if it's gonna rain some more so after this live stream is over, I'm going to drive over to Walmart and go get a tarp, I think. Glad I'm not there. I would silicone everything. Probably would not look good, but I would, but it, listen, I'm not opposed to it. Like, I don't care if it looks ugly. I have silicone, but it's raining. So I don't know. I don't know, but I have mastic. I have silicone. I have construction adhes adhesive. Um, and so I'm not opposed to doing the work. It's just like, this is, these are the setbacks that caused me to like, it's just, I'm trying to just do videos. I'm trying to just like live in this van. And it's like, I feel like I can never catch up because of stuff like this. It's, and it's not stuff I could just wait on. It's like, I can't just have this dripping because it's causing water damage. When there's electrical wires, like it's dripping through the light. <laughs> so it's something I have to get repaired like in the next few days. And hopefully it's not supposed to rain after today. So I don't know. It's... Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. But I don't care if it looks ugly, to be honest. Uh, AGT, you already donated, but thank you. Call a good auto glass shop. <laughs> thank you so much. Let me give you a second shout out. Let's give you, oh, let's give you a victory. Thank you very much. Do you think an auto glass technician would be able to do like fiberglass, like is that a thing? Do they do that? I don't know. Because I don't think it's coming through the like the actual like, windshield. It needs sealed. There are ways. How much? Look it up. Let your needs be heard. Yes. Oh, you missed your sound? Hold on. I'll give it to you. That's not it. My finger hit that. Okay, awesome. I'm... Praying for your pair goes smoothly. Achieve. Thank you very much. Yes, please pray for it to be like somebody just has a warm heart and they want to help me out because I'm going to go up into like look up into some of these like marine repair places that do like boat repairs or whatever. And maybe they'll be like this, this poor girl, she's just out here and maybe they'll just be like, listen, we're going to give you like a good discount. I don't mind paying because if someone's doing work, I do like to obviously pay for someone's time. But also, please, I just need a break. What about the elastomeric? That's what they use on top of that. I haven't heard of that. Elastomeric. Elastomeric. Basically, I think what I need to do is like either do another layer of fiberglass or two or like get like a bunch of like that like rubbery seal like you said, elastomeric or whatever and just like seal the whole heck of it. I don't even care. I just want to seal every all of it and then that'll just hopefully just do it. 
yeah, we painted our pop-up camper with special paint, and it's a hard sealer now. It's kind of rubber paint sealed. That's what I kind of think I need, some kind of a sealed paint or something. Oh, my. I will pray it doesn't ruin anything and cost very much through. Thank you very much. Where did the time go? I know. We're going to play the game in just a second. It's a tarp. Okay. Um, let's see. Flex seal. <laughs> Uh, our camper was originally fiberglass. It was a hailstorm that ruined it. Oh, dang. Yeah, I did the fiberglassing before you can do it again. Yeah, I can I can definitely do the fiberglassing. It's just, I need a ladder because I'm not tall enough. And so now I'm going to have to go buy a ladder, figure out a place to go do this. I don't know if I could do it in like a Home Depot shopping, like a um, parking lot. I don't even know. In terms of the Flex Seal, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> Grant, thank you. I use Flex Seal on the roof of my shed. Maybe I'll try it. Yes, marine repair, heat and water resistant. Yes. All right. Um, let's see here. Mm. The whole heck of it. I got a new saying. Yes. You can rent ladder at Home Depot. Yeah, I... I definitely will have to rent a ladder or get a ladder because I, I mean I don't have room to keep a ladder in here um, actually I was thinking this is so timely or I don't know this is a whole side note and then we'll play the game but I was thinking like before I left I wanted to get a ladder but I didn't want to cover up the back windows like having the ladder like down but my dad is calling me during my live stream so I have to call him back um, but this window Obviously, there you don't see a window, but there's a window over there. We, we covered it up with this wall. So I was thinking, like, I could put the ladder over that window. You know what I mean? So I can climb up on top because we're not using that window. But I don't know if it, it'll interfere because I think the gas tank or the gas filler is there. So that's another whole side tangent. Um, so I don't know. That's a whole thing that I need to think about. They sell in tape form as well as spray. Uh, hey, Jeannie, Arbella Life, how are you? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the solution. I feel like I've tried so many different things, and I don't want to keep trying just random things. That's why I think I'm at the point where I'm like, I just need to go talk to somebody that can just probably do it professionally. Um, or if they say, hey, you know, this is what you need, and I can go buy it and do it, then I will certainly do it. Um, so, yeah. Dad probably has a suggestion. He probably does, but, you know, we'll see. I'll talk to him afterwards. Okay, so let's play the game. I keep getting an alert on my phone, but it's, like, not showing me an alert, so I don't know what the problem is. I also just want to say a big thank you to all of our moderators that have been doing such a fine job today, especially our OG Grant, which I appreciate you very much. But also those of you that stepped up and said, hey, I'll be a, mo be a moderator and help, you know, make the channel like secure and everything. And I really appreciate it. So thank you so, so much. Hey, Mahmood. Okay. So you guys have anything else to talk about real quick before we start this game? What we got was actual roof latex paint. It's awesome. Okay. Roof latex. I might go that route. Like, I don't mind doing that, but... Yeah, I don't know. I just want to do the right thing, you know? Um, because I don't want to keep dealing with this. And I just want to, I want to, like, seal the whole sides and go up on the top and seal again all the places where we installed the solar panels and the fan um anywhere we like drilled at all up in the ceiling we sealed it really well but i don't know i'm just want to do it again um awesome genie thank you for being here okay so today because i had a lot to talk about um, we're going to keep it short with the games. I'm only going to just do one question of would you rather. Um, and it should be fun. And then 
in the few next few weeks we'll just switch it up and do like some longer form game questions and we'll just mix it up I really enjoyed watching your program have learned a lot from you thank you so much I appreciate you being here and saying that Lowe's and you can get it in gallon paint yeah I'm definitely gonna need a gallon definitely gonna need at least a gallon probably more but I don't know I'll I'll try to film it too but we'll see what happens because I'm already frustrated and I just want to get it done but I I will try to film it and show you guys what ends up happening with that and I'll keep you posted um, also, I'm not saying it's just to say it, but if you guys are not don't have your notification bell on, please do because I'm going to be posting a lot more videos and a lot more shorts and the community posts as well. So that way you'll know every time I do that. And also, you might as well throw a like on it if you haven't already on this live stream. Yes, you. yeah, I'm glad that we have so many moderators. This live stream has been so great compared to the last two of Saturdays. All right, um, so this question, I was inspired by seeing an alligator this week. And so, let's see. How about using Rust-Oleum Leak Seal? Mm, I'll write it down. Rust-Oleum Leak Seal. I'll check it out. Okay. Now, before I say the question... This is a question where you can't die. Okay, no dying. But would you rather have a close encounter with an alligator or a shark? So, like, let's just put it like if you were going in one of those shark cages, like with, you know, how they have those like shark experience things where you can go into like a shark tank and the shark, you know, comes crashing by your shark tank or whatever. And stuff can go wrong sometimes. So you're not going to die, but you could get bit. Or an alligator experience where you have like a trainer and they like sit on the alligator and like it could snap and stuff. So you also could get hurt, but you won't die. Because I don't want anybody dying in this scenario. So anyways, if you had to choose one, would you rather have an alligator encounter or a shark encounter? Click the bell. It's free and you will get on spot news. <laughs> Thank you, AGT. Oh, Kayla's going with the shark. You made me spit my coffee seeing an alligator this week. <laughs> oh, TJ's going with alligator. Hey, Chris, how are you? Big, I'm so late. I almost missed Would You Rather. You made it just on time, Chris. Just on time. Uh, Jess is going for shark tank. Uh, AGT's going to alligator. Mimi's for shark for sure. Rochelle is alligate, allocate, alligator. I can jump and run. That's that's a good point. Terry's tenacious is going with shark. Um, oops. Whoa. Where'd my chat go? you and your subscribers all the best be safe thank you very much alligator for lewis much safer uh chris is going with shark tanya's going with shark and alligator it's on land for martine tough decision i'll go with shark for poke fan joanna's going with alligator monique's going with shark it's pretty split. Grant's going with shark, although more people are with shark. Jeannie's going with shark. Win-Win's going with alligator. Chris is going with alligator. Oops, sorry. Diane. Hey, Diane, how are you? Gloria's going with baby alligator. Hmm. <laughs> Karen's going with Gator because I would run faster than the trainer. <laughs> I can't swim, so that's pretty good reasoning. Can it be a baby shark? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry if I missed anyone. Uh, Matthew's going with alligator. 
Um, pretty hectic at work, but nothing I can't handle. Thanks for asking. Awesome. Uh, Terry's Tenacious going with, uh, uh, looks like a shark. And Dee Dee Don Don is going with alligator. Uh, yes, it is raining pretty hefty out here. Anne is going with alligator. It's pretty split, you guys. It's like different, you know, in terms of, you know, like some of you wanted shark and some of you wanted alligator. Usually we're like more so on one thing, but it's pretty even today. It does sound like somebody's typing in my van. I'd rather jump on a gator and hold his mouth shut. That sounds awful though, yeah. Can we run a and change to alligator? You can change if you want. Um, what do you guys think I'm going to choose? Do you think I'm going to choose alligator or shark? Nelly said alligator, TJ says alligator, Rochelle says alligator, Pokefan says I think you choose alligator, Grant says you would choose shark, you didn't look too crazy about seeing the alligator, AGT says gator, Mimi says shark, Terry says gator, Joanna says gator, Chris says you go alligator, Lewis alligator, Sharknado, alligator, alligator alley, <laughs> uh, correction, Rustoleum leak seal, okay. Monique says gator. All right, so most of you are right. I would go with the alligator experience because like most of you said on that's on land mostly. And with sharks, I don't know. I'm not really, I've never done like um, scuba diving or anything. And I think that'd be a bigger learning curve and plus you're like nervous to be in this small little cage and they usually try to attract that shark with blood and stuff so I don't know I don't think I'd want to do that I'm not saying I would never do that but if I had a choice I think I'd go with the alligator experience both of them are terrifying like if you're up close I think I'd be like I don't want to do this but I think I'd have to go with alligator Where's fake freedom when I need her? Yeah, exactly. Watch now, she's gonna say shark. Alligators make great shoes and bags. <laughs> they do serve like um, uh, gator tail. I looked. At, I was looking at restaurants this week here, and they have gator tail, and also like in Louisiana, they have um, alligator meat and stuff like that. I don't know. I might try it at some point, but I feel sad now because I'm like, oh, poor alligator. But also. I mean, if you eat meat, you can't feel sad about one thing and not the other, I guess. Um, but you can run and jump. Tastes like chicken. I think that's what I heard, too. That's what I heard. All right, does anybody have anything else to say before we wrap it up for today? It feels very short because I think we're used to like having a longer live stream. But we'll get back used to just having like about an hour. I, like I said, um, what day are we on? 24th so next month is like in a week so I'm gonna start doing some late night snack chats and I'm just gonna pop on so if you're available jump on we'll just talk about some basic things and if not that's okay too I think I'm going to wrap it up here and go over to Walmart and try to get like a small tarp with some bungees I think just to like I don't really know how I'm gonna do this but I got to figure it out because it's going to rain probably through the night and I can't just have it just leaking like this. So I think I'm going to try to go fix that or just rig up something for the night. Um, at least with Gator Attack White, you could run zigzag through. This was a great live stream. Everyone is amazing. Yes, thank you so much to everybody. AGT says, wait, uh, CM, good afternoon from cool Jamaica. 
great on your live again. We have a lot of crocodiles here and basically mind their own business unless you mess with them. So I'd go alligator. Oh, awesome. Have a wonderful week. God bless. Look forward to more snack chats. Safe travel. Thank you so much. Oh, Win Win and Terry is tenacious coming through with the last minute 10 and 5. Let's give you two shout outs. Let's give you a, a lovely xylophone. And then we'll give a we'll give a nice yodel. Thank you so 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 much to Winwood and Terry Estadacious for the snack fund donations. Take care, mods and friends. Tarp and bungees are the way to go. Uh, yes, like a little tent for the top of event. Yes, exactly. Oh, ADT, you already donated. Thank you so much. I mean, and you've been doing a great job as moderator too. So thank you so much. We'll give you, we'll give you party guy. Hooray. Um, thank you so, so much. Uh, everybody's given good uh, energy or not energy, but good love to the mods. Hey, Allison. Yay, I've made it. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, Dora. Dora is the gypsy movement. So thank you for being here. Um, have a great week. Uh, let's see. Awesome last minute donations. Thanks. For, yes. Thank you guys so, so much. Call ahead and check the stock for tarps before you go. My Walmart had a couple, but they were huge. Okay. It's actually not that far from where I am. It's probably like uh, five miles. Thank you, Allison and moderators. Tarps and Bungie, easiest to put up. You're blessed and good info on how the funds go to you. Thank you very much. Uh, God be with you in this week ahead. Whoop, whoop. Um, thank you guys very much. Um, let me just check. Okay, awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you for making it such a lively live stream. Uh, I love spending time with you guys. I hope you guys have a super blessed week. Look out for all the videos that are coming up and keep me in prayer as I keep you in prayer and have a blessed, wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you again. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. I'm just reading the comments because... Once I log off, I can't see them anymore. Thank you for all the love. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It, it is raining. It's called tarp and big magnets. Oh, that's a good one too. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, bye.